but um, I made this video a few months ago and just haven't had the time to put it up. Um, I was inspired by a, a couple unique wall hangings that I saw on uh, Pinterest. I'll put up a couple of them on the screen now so you can see what I was inspired by. But basically this video is going to show you how to turn a cheap box of bog standard model magic into three really interesting and unique wall hangings. So here you go. So for this project, I just used Crayola Model Magic, which is pretty amazing. Um, I got this pack that was called The Natural Colors. It had four different uh, shades of clay. Uh, first was uh, this white uh, Model Magic, then Biscuit, um, Terracotta, and finally this gorgeous uh, brown uh, earth tone color that you can see here in this first wall hanging. So the first thing that I did was make seven of these rectangular prisms. Uh, so I made one long one for the center, this one was about six inches, and then two alongside that, those are about five inches, and then two more that were about three inches, and then two that were about two inches. So after I let all of these dry overnight, I was ready to uh, start putting together the wall hanging. So I just used these uh, raw wood beads from Michaels because I kind of like that color, um, just of the natural wood, but you could stain them as well. And then I just used some cotton string just to string the whole thing together. So the last step was just to get this piece of wood. Um, this was about nine inches long and I drilled two sets of holes on either side about an inch apart one to uh, tie up these two ends of the wall hanging and then also the actual string that we're going to use to hang it on the wall. So I just used um, a uh, embroidery needle to help thread uh, the string through the holes um, and I found that really helpful. And finally to keep everything in place I tied two uh, little knots uh, just at the top just to um, keep the string from falling through the hole. After doing one more string to hang the whole piece, it was all done. Cool. It has kind of this celestial vibe and for this I used the terracotta clay and again the earth tone clay. So um, I just used cookie cutters to um, punch out this little moon by using one larger cookie cutter and then one smaller one. And I just used chopsticks to uh, poke little holes through. Then the second piece that I did was this kind of evil eye kind of piece. So um, I just kind of created a little bit of a curved diamond shape um, and uh, I rolled that out and then I punched a hole through the middle of that to kind of create the uh, pupil of the eye. And then finally um, I liked these kind of concentric circles so um, I just used the cookie cutters to uh, create more of these circle shapes and the chopsticks to uh, put a hole through them. Again, then I let them dry for 24 hours before I uh, arranged it in the shape that I wanted. Again, I used these raw wood beads and um, I also made some little beads out of the terracotta color of the clay. After I laid out all the shapes, I did the same thing that I did with the first piece and I just used this cotton thread to uh, thread uh, the shapes together and tied it through a uh, wooden piece that I had drilled holes through and then tied a knot at the top to keep it in place. I really love this one. It has a little bit of a bohemian vibe and uh, this is how it turned out. Finally, for
for my favorite piece, I used three colors of clay. The first was the terracotta, which I rolled out into a flat pancake. And then again, I used these cookie cutters to punch out shapes. I think this cookie cutter was about three inches in diameter. And then this is the biscuit color, um, and I did the same thing uh, with this. This came out, these were a little bit more warm toned than I would have wanted, um, but hey. Uh, so I did the same thing uh, for the white clay, and then I just used a chopstick to poke a hole in the top and in the bottom of each circle uh, so that I could thread them. jute twine to tie all of the shapes together and I did kind of um, a bisque white terracotta, bisque white terracotta, bisque white terracotta um, with three rows of uh, each color and in each row there were seven circles. Just like I did for the others, um, I used a piece of wood with holes drilled in it uh, this one, uh, I can't remember the exact length of the wood, but I evenly spaced the holes about three inches apart. And then um, I tied uh, the jute twine through the top and then put a knot in the top to keep them in place. And this is how it turned out. I really, really love this one. I get compliments on it all the time and it's completely homemade and done for the price of uh, Model Magic.